I guess, so this is what I was going to show you guys yesterday. So, there's the cargo container, and then there's the connector, and the magnetic plate. And if I make the connector throw out a piece of rock, there we go. Oop, hold on. Then we'll start moving. And if you want to stop moving, you let go of the rock by pressing P. And if you want to start accelerating again, you throw out another piece of rock. So, alright, I guess I need more gyroscopes. Alright, I added more gyroscopes. Let's see if we can handle this now. There we go. See? I can move straight. So, this way, you can basically have a purely rock drive or a purely rock propulsion. Pure rock propulsion. <laughs> I don't know how to call this. So, theoretically, this should also work on planets. Alright, let's try this now. Oh, there you go. See? <laughs> this is working. <laughs> Guys, this is so amazing. So, uh, I mean, obviously, if you want to make this practical, you should probably have normal thrusters as well, so you can land properly, or at least parachutes, but you can certainly use the rock drive to propel your ship forward if you really want to do it. Alright, I was editing the video and I got curious on whether or not this will work. Like, will you have the same acceleration on bigger or heavier grids or on grids with more mass? Let's try this now. Alright, turning on the rock drive. Oof! <laughs> Alright guys, so, did you see the acceleration? So, this can certainly work on larger ships just fine. Let me turn off the inertia dampeners. Uh, well, alright, so you obviously need more gyroscopes for bigger ships. But look at this acceleration. <laughs> That's amazing. So you can basically have really great acceleration with this pure rock drive, even if your ship is super heavy. So yeah, that's how you make purely rock propulsion on space engineers. Eh, right, let's try moving it. Oh, 